Hello everybody, uh, once again my name is Ben, I'm from Loop Software and Testing Service, it's still working on the intros a little bit, but today uh, I just wanted to give a quick video on how we use MailSorp to um, accept uh, new user invites into new windows. So um, one of the uh, more common uh, frustrations in the past with test automation has been trying to switch users um, specifically when you add a new user. Uh, Oftentimes what ended up happening was uh, you would have to log out of the user, go to something like Gmail, hit refresh, like navigate into the email, click the link, um, et cetera, et cetera. It just was a headache. So with Playwright Automation, there's a couple things that make that immediately um, much easier to do. The first is going to be the multiple contexts. So with Playwright Automation, you have the ability to have multiple contexts going that don't know that the other contexts exist. So in this case, you'll have page and page one. So there's a lot of documentation on how to run multiple contexts at the same time, but um, it's essentially just starting a new context, doing page one. It's not really the point of this video. Point of this video though is how do you take that a step farther? So let's say you are a admin user, you are uh, logging in, you fill out the steps to create a new user. I just commented it out here because I don't have a great example that isn't protected by an, uh, an NDA. Um, when you click save, that app, whatever you're in, is going to send a new email. So we use something called MailSlurp to basically not have to go into email clients. Um, MailSlurp is a great tool. I think it's like nine bucks a month. I could be wrong. Um, it's essentially an API for uh, SMS messages and uh, uh, email messages for the most part. Um, most test cases, you don't need to go into an email client to know that the test case worked. That's a test case in itself. Um, it's much faster to work with a tool that basically gives you the API to that information. So um, in this case, we're using MailSwerp. Uh, we're sending the new user invite. Uh, we're then using their API saying wait for latest email uh, with their ID. Um, previously, we've already connected to the MailSwerp account. We've created a new inbox that had the uh, inbox ID. Um, and then we're going to use that ID here. Uh, then what we're going to do is basically uh, expect the email to contain a subject. Um, and then we're going to get um, any links from that email. This expect, by the way, is not necessary. It's just a nice to have. Um, once we have those links, it's going to be returned as an array. So uh, in this case, we know that the link is the first link. So in that case, link zero. And then the key kind of component is you turn that link into a constant. You open a new browser. You open a new page in the new context. Uh, so you've created a new context in the new browser. You've opened a new page. You have page one. And in this case, we're going to go to page one and user URL. And it's as simple as that. You basically have the ability to, um, within a second, get the email, um, pull the link from it, open a new context, go to that URL, and you're as good as gold. All right, talk soon. Bye.